I recently have been doing some thinking about social media and how important it is to a lot of people's lives. How much time we spend on it, how much time I personally spend on it, and if it really adds more to my life than takes away from it. Uh, I had T over, we were playing a game for the Let's Play channel, the link is in the description down below to that channel. This particular part will not be uploaded for a while, but I decided to take the audio from it and, you know, kind of put it here and talk about something and edit it because I think it is something really important to think about with how much time we spend online. I recently had an experience where a lot of people were very, very mad at me taking something I said out of context, spreading it around, admitting that they didn't actually know what I had said and were just going off of somebody else's word and posting it all over the internet to I don't know if it was to try to get me in trouble or try to just uh, hurt my business or what it was, but uh, it was very anger and, I guess, hatefully driven behavior uh, that really made me stop and think about how I behave online and how much time I spend here. And if I really care enough to spend so much time on platforms like Twitter uh, and even Instagram, as I do right now, or if I should just spend more time focusing on my work. So before we hop into it, if you enjoy this, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe for more content. I appreciate you very much. This sort of caps off a trilogy of, I suppose, more serious than they had to be videos, uh, something I never thought was a super serious topic since it's a comic book. Uh, but, you know, this kind of caps off a trilogy of seriousness, and we are going to be moving on to something a lot more fun in the coming days. We are working on a review for this channel of Space Jam and some other stuff, so I hope to see you there, and let's hop into it. Let's do this. T, you're back. <laughs> Give that your turn. What did you think about that whole thing? I'm being serious. Did you hear about this? That I'm racist now? Or no, no, no. No, not racist. I'm sorry. I've heard that one too. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you uh, are racist, homophobe. but yeah. The homophobe? And that was because of your Tim Drake video, right? Because I said the writing doesn't fit. Listen, I think that is... Um, when I heard that that was what was, I guess, going on and everything on Twitter, Twitter... Like I've said to you a million times, I just find it to be such a, a cesspool of negativity and then people reinforcing that negativity, but also posturing and like, look how moral I am, look how righteous I am. And so having an opinion like that, which isn't even rooted in like, oh, I don't like him because he's gay. It's because I don't really just like that writing choice for him. I don't like the direction that you're taking the character, which you can really take. I mean, sexuality is such a hot button thing, but you can take that in any direction. We're like, I don't really like where this character is headed. I didn't like this decision. I didn't like this romantic partner. Like you could say, for example, you didn't like that uh, in Harry Potter. You didn't like that Harry ended up with Ginny. You, th you thought it should have been Hermione. Is it because you're a heterophobe though? See, that, that's probably what it is. Yeah. So it, it like for me, it's like you didn't like the direction that they took a character. That's absolutely, and that's something you just have an honest debate about. Like, it's like, well, I, I don't like that. Okay, well, I do like that. Fine, cool, whatever. Buy the comic, I'm not going to. That's it. End of discussion. But, like, it's it's a much more personal thing for some reason. And by no means does it need to be. That's why I was so surprised it was a big deal. But maybe I shouldn't be surprised by it. I don't know. Oh, what, by video? Yeah, like, I, I was so surprised that people took it. And, like, you were showing me some of the stuff that people were saying. I... I don't understand it, man. I, I, I didn't think that there was any anger or, you know, like, uh, I guess, hostility coming from you or Jill when talking about that character. You love the character. You just didn't think that it made sense for that character. That's, I really don't see what's to be upset about, really. You can disagree with that opinion, and I think that's fine. But I, uh, yeah, I guess I thought it was crazy. Yeah, I mean... One guy who started it apologized, which oh really never should have happened, but good on him for apologizing. That's I mean, cool. That's better than most people do. Yeah. But also, um, you know, like there were still other people like really morally grandstanding after that, like, look how accepting I am and how good I am um, about, you know, after even that person retracted it, which I thought was very amusing. Um, none of it ever really offended me. That's the thing that's funny is like these people try to get under your skin, right? And really offend you. But it's like, to me, you're nobody. Like, maybe that's a bad attitude, but like, I don't know you. I don't give two shits what you think. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, if you like me, cool. That's nice. I mean, you still don't know me, you know, on a personal level. And I would love to get to know 
uh, like more of the subscribers and stuff on a personal level, if it was possible, you know, it's 90,000 people and it's a point where it's like, it's not, it's just not feasible. You know what I mean? Right. You can't do that. I'm one person. Um, but you know, I, I think that with like these people posturing on Twitter and stuff, they think that they've got, you know, a big moral high ground, but it's like, Oh, their friends throw them under the bus at the first sign of them doing something similar. Mm-hmm. So, like, for example, if you are Bobby Brown and you say, you know, maybe you maybe you uh, jump on the bandwagon and you say, yeah, Degenerate Jay is a hateful bitch. I hate this guy, right? Well, maybe next week you make a joke that flies wrong with your friends and now you're on their list. You're the one that they're, you know, blasting on Twitter. And that's the kind of friends you want. You know what I mean? That's the kind of community you want. One where it's just like people constantly cannibalizing your own. And like, I don't know. um, I mean, Jill said it best. It's hilariously pathetic how straight people were nicer to her about coming out as bi than people who were in the LGBTQ community. That is pathetic. Like, you look like a fucking loser. Like, your whole thing is tolerance, but you can't even be tolerant of your own. Because they are slightly different or believe something different than you. Um, it's like you're such a beacon of tolerance and hope, but you're just a pathetic little loser. Virgin on Twitter who has nothing going on in your life. You don't make anything for yourself. You don't amount to anything. You don't really matter in the grand scheme of to anyone else. And uh, all you have going on for you is negativity and to be a, a dick. That's it. It's like, wow, you're really contributing to the world. Like, I'm not saying off yourself, but... Maybe do something better with your life. You know, like, you're so unhappy. What's the point? Like, you're this pressed about a stranger just saying, hey, I think that maybe um, Robin liking boys, maybe that didn't really work with this character. That seems kind of like a random decision for his character arc. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, that's that's it. It's just, hey, this seems like a random decision for a character arc. That's it. Wow, I'm so pressed. I've got to throw around insults and get really angry. You've gone too far, man. You know, it's one of those things where it's like, I mean, we can go there. Like, I can insult you. I can take it down to that level. I can tell you you're a loser and that you're worthless and all this stuff, right? I mean, I, I just don't know what what the point is. You know what I mean? It's just, at the end of the day, it's just like we're both being negative dicks to each other then, you know? And that's why I usually try not to take it there. But it's like, I mean, if you're going to, you know... If you're going to, like, take it there and make it like, oh, well, this is the type of person you are, it's like, okay, well, I can go down to that level if you'd like. Like, I can do that, too. I mean, you're clearly a judgmental prick with nothing going on in your life, but, like, I didn't attack you first. So which one of us is the aggressor here? You know, which one of us comes off looking bad? Mm -hmm. I mean, even in this, like, what I just said now, like, the just fuck off, basically, type thing... That's the meanest thing I've ever said to any of these people. And it basically just means leave me alone. That's it. You know, like they throw around these um, like labels and stuff, which I don't think most of them even know what they mean. I think they hear them from their friends and just use it. Um, But they'll throw around really big words to sound smart and to posture, like you said. But at the end of the day, they're just like really hoping that they don't step out of line and do something bad themselves that'll get them in trouble. It's like, dude, that's fascism. That's that's not cool. Well, that's what a lot of these that's what a lot of authoritarian regimes do is they they kind of create a, a sense of mistrust within everybody within society so they're actually telling on each other. Is essentially that's like 1984, dude. Just read like you read the book, people are so scared to trigger the wrong crowd that they just rat on each other so that they look good. You know what I mean? Like that's literally in 1984. So like it's just it's a crazy thing because it's it makes sharing opinions, and this is obviously, everyone has said this a million times, but it makes sharing opinions and having like an honest discussion so unbelievably difficult about a subject, about a comic book character. Like, you're, you're not discussing like a real person here. This is Tim Drake, Robin, sidekick of Batman, who you're like, I didn't agree with this creative choice that the writers decided to go with. And it's a, uh, we need to discuss how you're a, a homophobe and a biphobe or whatever. Like it just, it doesn't, it's crazy, dude. And that's, and I think that's a real problem. Uh, that's just kind of sad, I guess. But the funniest thing to me was where it was like, they were telling Jill that she was reinforcing the system that held her down, which isn't that socialist narrative or, uh, 
dialogue. The system that held you down. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, it came off to me like a like a um, communist Russia revolution statement. A little bit, like, yeah. Yeah. It's just a weird thing to say. Stuff like that. And it's like, I get... I get that to some extent this could be considered talking out of turn because it's not my community. So take that for what you will. You know what I mean? I'm not gay or bisexual or any of that. I don't care if you are, but I'm just not. Yeah. Um, I, I guess, and it's fine to have communities, but I guess I don't, um, I don't know. I, I guess I have a hard time too with the idea of like, we're a community. No one can talk about our community, but our community. You know what I mean? Like why, why are you exclusive, exclusively, uh, like, you can only talk about yourselves. You know what I mean? Like, I guess that doesn't make sense to me. Well, from the outside, it comes off as to avoid criticism and not have to contend with other ideas. Yeah. And that's I guess how that's it comes what I mean. off. Yeah. Um, I would say they'd probably say that that's not what they're doing, but that's what it comes off as. And I would say it alienates people that are... I hate the term ally because people use that with, like, the LGBTQ stuff to posture. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, especially straight people. Like, I'm an ally. It's like... No, bro. You just, you want attention. <laughs> you're not an ally. You're rallying behind a cause because you don't feel important. You want retweets and that's it's, it. It's yeah. not like, you don't care about these people. You know what I mean? Yeah. The, there's a lot of that going around. But I think that, um, so it's one of those things where it's like this. Let's say that I was a little hateful, right? No, 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 I'm not. <laughs> hypothetically but, speaking. But let's, <laughs> let's, just, let's just hypothetically say I was for the sake of the argument. Sure, not sure. to be Ben Shapiro here. <laughs> Here's what Hypothetically, you do. I hate everyone. Well, no, here's what happens when you're a dick. Mm -hmm. You know, like, all you do is polarize people. So, like, for example, I'd walk away from that conversation less accepting, more hateful. And except now I have an audience. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And now I could very easily pepper that stuff into my videos or my audience or whatever if I really wanted to. And... No one's really going to notice. I mean, all kinds of people do that stuff. That's what subliminal messaging is, you know? Like, across the world, media does that. And so it's like you are... Now, I wouldn't personally try to do this, but it's like you're risking... Instead of, like, trying to work out your differences and stuff, you're risking giving what you would call people in positions of power more ammunition to hate you and spread that hate just because you're mad and don't want to have a conversation. Mm-hmm. You know? What is the point? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, I, I just don't see the point of that. It's counterproductive. Even if you, even if you hate that person that you don't know, um, it comes off as extremely counterproductive and something you don't want to do. Like, do you really want to risk that? You want to risk giving people in positions of power more ammunition to be a dick and to hate you? I don't understand. Like, it's just logically unsound anyway. And that's just ignoring wanting normal conversation that you should want regardless, you know, outside of that. Um, but I, I don't get it. I just, I've never understood it. No, I, dude. I personally don't kick hornet's nests. I don't try to make people mad at me. Um, I try to work out differences with people. It's crazy to me that people don't do that. But Yeah, and, and it's like, it's almost encouraged not to do that. Like you want to completely cut that out of your life. Otherwise you can't be a hundred percent like righteous and cool before everyone. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you associate yourself with anyone who's ever had any kind of controversy or said anything wrong, which is literally every human being on the planet. But if they've done, made some sort of mistake, said the wrong thing, slip of the tongue, whatever, uh, you have to disassociate from those people completely. Otherwise you're also part of the problem. And that's, that's kind of a haunting thing. Yeah. I don't, I just don't get it, man. And I don't, um, I just don't get like really what a lot of these people were looking for. You know what I mean? Like what was hilarious to me was, and I'm not directing hate at this guy who originally posted it. I mean, I probably should, but I just don't think it's worth it. Cause he apologized, yeah. you know? And to me, there's something about when people retract something and apologize, they can't undo it. But, like, I think it's very unfair to keep lording it over them. That's douchey. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, to me, it's one of those things, too, where it's like, yeah, that never should have been said. But the people doubling down after that person took it back are really the ones at fault. And what's hilarious to me is that you can apologize, and that's cool, and I appreciate it, right? But... Not nearly as many people saw the apology and the retraction as the original thing. 
Oh, sure. Yeah. Because, like, I think the original thing got, like, 100 likes and, like, five retweets or something. Although, to be Did fair... really? To be fair, Jeez. like, four of the retweets were in my favor calling the person out. But, you know, like, and I think the person's retraction got, like, 12 likes. Wow. So, it's wow. like, when you do that stuff, too, you also have to be careful because, like, I could sue you. I don't think people know how that works. But, like, if I was a dick, I could. You know that, right? Like, if you, if I went to court and I said, hey, this person called me, uh, this person slandered me. They called me something I'm not and affected my business. And you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, because there were people in the comments to that saying, like, well, I'm I'm not going to support him anymore. So, if you do that and I want to be a pretentious a-hole, I could take you to court for that and sue you. Because it technically did cost you money yeah and that's i guess right if you wanted to be and obviously you're now to not. be fair i don't want to be right because right. like i don't even want to deal with the court system but if i did want to i'd have a legal case mm -hmm. very yeah. easily and i'd have the money to pursue it and that person probably wouldn't have the money to defend themselves compared to me now when you do that there's multiple things to take into question is it worth it is it worth how you'll look doing it uh, is it worth your time does it really matter that much? You know, things like that, which to me, no. Yeah. But people have done that. People have threatened litigation over less. And so it's something like that where I think you also, just from a pragmatic being smart standpoint, need to be careful what you're saying. You know, like, T is a bigot is different than T, in my, in my opinion, is behaving like a bigot. Those are different statements. One in a court of law can be considered slanderous. One cannot. One is my opinion. One is very clearly me stating it as a fact. People don't understand this stuff. There's legalities to what you're doing is what I'm saying. Um, that can very quickly bite you in the ass too. If you fuck with the wrong person. Now I'm not the wrong person. Because I'm not going to deal with it. But. Um, you know it's like there's so many reasons not to do this stuff. It can hurt you. It can very easily hurt the other person if you're wrong. Which it was. You know what I mean? Right. It isolates people. Like Jill, for example, said that she didn't want to tell people about being bi because of how she was treated. And then as soon as she does, that's how they treat her. Just justifying how she felt, obviously. Yeah, yeah. proving her right. Yeah. Proving, proving in her mind that the LGBTQ community is not accepting and is douchey, basically. I mean, that's how they behaved. Right. So like, or at least that group of people in it. So it's one of those things where it's like, you know, you have to be careful how you treat people because you very quickly... One, ostracize people from different things, and two, can hurt yourself by doing that. And it's it's very, um, I don't think people think about their actions in those ways. They don't think about how they'll affect others for sure, but they also don't think about how they could potentially affect them, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah. Me, me saying Best Buy kind of sucks in my opinion, and I really think they should carry more movies and do a better job is different than, like, uh, somebody mugged me in best buy and they were the manager you know one's like a lie that i'm spinning as a fact <laughs> yeah yeah and the other one is an opinion on i wish they did better with their stuff and those are very different statements i think kids aren't taught that they don't know that even though you have free speech there's certain things you say that can have heavy heavy consequences for the rest of your life and even if they don't there have been people killing themselves over stuff like this. Mm -hmm. You know, how many people who have gotten canceled killed themselves? What about that guy? What was his name? Like, uh, Hawaka, Alec Hawaka or Alec Hawaka. I don't remember his exact name, but I'm not sure. he was accused of, uh, sexual mis misconduct and people really dogpiled him. And then he just straight up killed himself immediately because like he realized his career was over and there was no, like whether it was right or wrong, there's no proving it. You know what I mean? No one wants to hear it. So it's one of those things where, like, he just ended his life immediately. And I would argue that some of those people who did that are partially responsible for his death. But they weren't legally held responsible for it, you know? Like, he still made his choice, but I would say that they certainly contributed to it. Um, I don't think anyone cares about that because it's... I hate the term victim Olympics. I think that one is just like really condescending to people because there are a lot of people in like really bad situations or who are, you know, gay or um, of a different racial background than white or anything that feel very alienated and really have had a rough time, you know? So I think that's douchey, but there really is like a, 
righteousness type of Olympic behavior where it's like, look how righteous I am. Look how good I am. And I don't care how that affects anyone else. You know what I mean? As long as I look good. Mm -hmm. And that to me is like, you're killing people. (laughs) You know what I mean? Like you're literally alienating people where they don't feel like they can talk to you or anyone or about anything. And you are ruining people's lives over that stuff. And it's crazy to me because, oh, I have to open that. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's crazy to me because it comes off like this. Who comes off as the bad guy here? I said, I don't agree with this writing uh, decision. I don't think that there was anything really pointing to this decision making sense. If you do, fine. But I think it comes off as like DC tokenizing a minority group to make money, which is something that companies are doing way too much instead of organically representing them. That's what I said. Mm -hmm. Who comes off worse, that or all the people calling me a motherfucker and a bigot and a piece of shit and all this stuff who admitted they didn't watch the video? You. Yeah, I come off as the aggressor there. (laughs) Yeah. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) Yeah, yeah. Like, who looks more accepting there? The straight guy who just said, I don't really like this writing. Or the inclusive community. Right. That's not a good look. I mean, Jill immediately retweeted it and said, this is why I don't talk about this stuff. Yeah. And I don't blame her. I mean, yeah, you look at what happened now. It's like, I don't blame her. It's a a very... it's, It's a real bummer because it shouldn't be especially from that community it should have been a very polar opposite response i feel you know but it was because of a fictional character really and like an opinion on that that made that experience for her much more negative and i mean just really awful at the end of the day and it's because of people on twitter getting offended over very small things that in the grand scheme of things if you disagree with the fact that Tim Drake, that they made him gay, who cares, dude? I guess that's what's really my thing. Like, you, you get down to what really is important here. You can have an opinion about it. You can say, yeah, I disagree. I think it's cool, but whatever. Like, you can think what you want. But for this to actually be like a day ruiner for someone, where they're spending hours on Twitter creating these tweets and angrily looking for ways to get under both you and jill's skin that's that's actually like insane to me that's that's crazy town that that makes no sense i i don't know why people expect like, expend that much energy on something that i love batman i love comics i love the the movies the animated series i love all that stuff but to get that upset over it to where you're doing what was happening on twitter um i, I just don't see any justification for it ever going that far i guess so no I don't know, man. I really don't either. I don't get it. Uh, it's just, it came off nuts. I don't, I don't know what else to add to it other than just it came off really weird. And um, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Is um, there another one? I don't know. Like at the end of the day, I get that I got a little annoyed and told people to fuck off. That's not the nicest thing to say, but it's one of those things where it's like, dude, you're actively trying to hurt me over something I didn't do. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's very hard for me to have sympathy for you after that. Yeah. Um, or care about your well-being. Oh, yeah, it, man. It's usually people who have something to prove about how good they are that are really not good. Which is sad. 